T.R. Kreitz. I'm from Lincoln Southwest. <laughs> and this is A Lesbian's Guide to Teen Angst, or Seven Rules Every Daughter of Sappho Should Know. One, when you figure out that girls are beautiful and you are weak, there will be something inside of you that aches to scream it from rooftops, that bare feet slipping on mottled shingles is too afraid. You will pull out your phone, protected by autumn plaid plastic, and text someone you have known for years. She will say, I know. I've known basically since I met you. You will be stunned, because you weren't expecting it to be this easy. Because coming out to your friends, the ones that love you the most, will be this easy. Two, your little brother will find himself thrilled to bursting, ready to tear through walls and doors and people at the idea of having a lesbian sister. Well. A sister that totally finds chicks hot. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh with him. He will be the battering ram breaking down your parents' walls, instrumental in your siege for acceptance. If he can love you as you are, so can they. Three, when your mother waxes poetic about how all girls marry men like their fathers, make sure the guilt you feel is hidden behind a smile more fake than Kim Kardashian's butt. <laughs> Nod, say nothing. She wants grandchildren, you know, but there are kids in this country that need homes, and you and your lover can always adopt cats. Your mother can still have her grandkitties. <laughs> hold the thumbtack uh, thumb truth in your mouth. Your lips punctured will bleed scarlet, but damaging yourself is so much easier than disappointing your mother. Four. When you kiss a girl for the first time, you will lose it. The tiny lesbian in the prison of your chest will scream her glee and make music with your ribs like xylophone bells. Let her play. She has never experienced anything like this before. Five, you will fall in love with straight girls. You will know they are straight before you fall in love with them. This is life's greatest irony. <laughs> they will be unattainable. You will feel like Narcissus who fell in love with his own reflection, except you'll feel more like the reflection than Narcissus. Insubstantial, unable to reach out and touch. Six, every day it will hurt. It will come in the form of thoughts that try to convince you that you are faking gay for the attention. It'll close around your throat like a fist made of smoke. You cannot touch it, but you cannot breathe either. Agony will rip at your lips until bitter red self-loathing drips down your chin. Wash the wounds with your tears. Spread a thin coat of lies over your lips. Seal with a lipstick bandage. Hold the thumbtack pain plastic against your teeth. Wait for it to spill again. Repeat. Seven. When it hurts, write poetry. Even when you cannot bring yourself to breathe, write poetry. Scratching pen marks on parchment is so much safer than tracing them with thumbtacks on your skin. So wax poetic about the way the wind should be thankful to have the free freedom to card its fingers through her hair when you don't. About how, if you had the chance, you would kiss her with lips soft as butterfly wings. Make, let the... Let the relief these words provide fill up your lungs so you can breathe again. Tell yourself that self-acceptance is written one poem at a time. Remember that words can hurt you, but remember they heal you too. <laughs>